My name is uh, Per Lunning. I'm a medical oncologist and radiotherapist, and I'm working as a professor at the University of Bergen, uh, Norway. Are there any differences between third generation aromatase inhibitors? When you look at clinical practice, I think to many oncologists, they would use it in a similar way. They do not, in their daily practice, recognize there could be a difference. However, when you look at the evidence in metastatic disease, you see all these studies who have confirmed that people could fail on uh, non-steroidal aromatase inhibitors like anestrozole and nitrosol subsequently could benefit with therapy with eczema stain. There must be some kind of difference. What the exact mechanism is, we don't know. But uh, obviously, it's there. And with the trials now coming up, doing the head-to-head -head comparison between anestrozole and eczemestane, as well as between letrozole and anestrozole, we will learn more about the importance, both with respect to the difference between these so-called non-steroidal and steroidal inhibitors, but also, potentially, if the difference that have been recognized in uh, endocrine studies between anestrozole and letrozole, that letrozole is a more potent suppressor of ECGN levels and a more potent aromatase inhibitor in vivo, may be translated into a clinical benefit with uh, improved efficacy in the adjuvant setting. Well, I think as doctors in general, we are conservative in the way that if you get used to treat patient with one compound, you will stay with that until you get evidence that there is another compound that is superior. And even if we know that there is a lack of cross resistance between compounds, we cannot stand up and say that one drug is superior to the other with respect to treating the patient example in the early setting. So I think we are now eagerly waiting for the studies doing the head-to-head -head comparison because that will be the final evidence learning us whether there is a real superiority for any of these compounds in comparison to the others. I have a personal highlight because yesterday I have the pleasure of leading one of these sessions where we had selected posters from young investigators that were brought up for oral presentation and thereafter we discussed the content. And I was really pleased to see the quality of these papers and to see the quality of the work these young doctors are now doing. That's really encouraging to a person who's been in the field for many years to see that we have young eager investigators who are taking uh, the science forward and they should know that we are following them and we really appreciate the work they are doing.